hello uh, today we will see how to uh, bypass rate limit so it's all manual now there's no automated i have done so i have used uh, vpn so that a lot of ways either use vpn proxies ipv6 or tor okay so demo the demo I'll show you on VPN, like uh, how the rate limit can be bypassed using VPN. Uh, this is now manual, uh, but it easily can be automated. Okay. So for this uh, testing, I am using a private tunnel, uh, which give me a good uh, quota of 2 GB. And uh, let's start. So first thing, uh, let's say, I have gone here and added one link. So I need to monitor my uh, what request uh, like it's a when graph object where we are operating JSON is on port 8080. Okay. So first thing we will try to do a port scan like uh, uh, whether we'll get something or not. Let's see. We'll try to fuzz this port. Uh, let's use regex of so it is there, and uh, let's say one two nine and one two nine. So I'm doing a fuzz on this port on localhost. Okay. Uh, moment I start fuzzing, it will start fuzzing, and and uh, after certain request, we can see after certain request, we can see that eight zero six seven. Okay, so from eight zero six eight, we are not getting any response because. Uh, uh, the rate limit is applied on the server and uh, we can see that uh, there is no response from the network okay we can clearly identify that uh, size response body is one byte so in this way we are guessing that uh, we have first uh, almost uh, 68 uh, 40 request okay so to in order to continue uh, this pattern uh, let's open my uh, private tunnel and uh, let's connect to jurich okay. so this is my uh, private tunnel and uh, let's go to london okay so i'm using a london route and let's start from 8068 okay so again i will try to fuzz uh, from 806 okay let's start from 807 Okay, so I have an generated another 10 request. Okay, on this port on localhost. Uh, let's start it. Ah, cool. Here we go. So every time we can see that uh, response is coming, and I am able to do a successful port scanning through uh, SSRF. Okay, so this I bombard the localhost, the Yammer, uh, the network localhost. So it can be used on the same IP and same port, and uh, with uh, with little bit of automation, uh, we can achieve a full uh, function functional full functional scanner as well as a DOS pattern kind of stuff. Okay, uh, next. Uh, we can use proxy okay where we can get a uh, free list of https proxy okay and uh, we can use 
uh, we can export this proxy variables and we can use CURL to post the data. Okay, we can capture the CU, we can prefill the CURL with all the headers and cookies variables. Okay, uh, IPv6 is the another way where uh, we can. Uh, so IPv6 give you functionality of like uh, having multiple IP in the same interfaces. Okay. So if you have multiple IP in the same interfaces, and there are a lot of providers uh, which can give you slash 64 range. So you can have a lot of IPv6 address and you don't have to uh, bother about any proxy tunnels and other stuff. Okay, so it's doing a simple scripting and again with the CURL technique, again, we can bypass the rate limit on this. Uh, most commonly Tor, uh, Tor, but most of the firewall is blocked by the Tor, the user agent where they will find this is coming from Tor, it will block. So this is not uh, reliable, uh, but uh, you can use it. Uh, still, uh, you need to do the automation and things to be going. Thank you.